I'm Adam, and this is a video about the 2019 Mustang GT. We'll start here with a walk around of the exterior of this Mustang GT. As you can see, this is covered in race red paint, and it also features the black accent package, which brings us these 19 inch black wheels. It brings us this black roof, and it also brings us this black deck lid spoiler. Since this is a GT, of course, it does feature the 5.0 liter V8 engine, putting out 460 horsepower and 420 foot-pounds of torque. As well, one of the coolest features about this Mustang is the fact that it features active valve performance exhaust. Take a listen to the difference between quiet mode versus normal mode. <laughs> In quiet mode, the Mustang actually cuts off two of those exhaust pipes and reduces the exhaust to only two of the four. As I mentioned, the Mustang does feature the 5.0 liter V8 engine and that is paired to a six speed manual transmission. This is the standard transmission that comes with the GT. Uh, I believe that you can get an automatic with it, although it is an upcharge and I would not recommend it. Getting an automatic takes all the fun out of driving a big engine V8 Mustang. You are going to get about 15 in the city and you're rated at 24 on the highway. Uh, this Mustang, of course, is not made to go places economically. It's made to go places quickly. Speaking of going quickly, this Mustang does 0 to 60 in a flash. They haven't recorded the times for 2019 yet, but the 2018 GT could do 0 to 60 in 3.9 seconds, which is incredible. As well, this Mustang does feature keyless entry, so if you want to walk up to it without fumbling for your keys, all you have to do is have the fob on you or in your purse, walk up and grab your hand inside the door handle. As soon as your fingers touch the inside of that door handle, it's going to pop the locks for you. When you're done and you want to leave, but you don't want to have to lock the Mustang with that key fob because it's in your purse again, all you have to do is close the door and press your thumb on these three little buttons on the door and the locks will drop automatically for you. All right, now I'm going to bring you guys to the inside of the GT here where I'm going to point out a few of the premium features that you can expect in here as well as some of the performance features that you know you're going to get. We'll start here with the steering wheel as we normally do. You can see that we have our radio volume controls on the left here and then we have our arrows to navigate the info screen and the gauges on the right. And then down below on the left, we have our cruise control settings. And down below on the right, we have all of our inputs like our Mustang mode, navigation, our settings button, all that kind of stuff right there. Moving up from the steering wheel to the gauges, this is arguably the coolest part of the entire car. Um, I just absolutely love the way that Mustang has taken this gauge cluster and set it up for us. All you have to do is actually press this drive mode button that we'll get to later, and it can totally change the configuration of the gauges. So we've gotten away from the classic double needle design, and we've gone to this full LCD gauge display. That way we can customize it to perfectly suit your needs. Additionally, here in this 12 inch gauge cluster, we can see that in the middle, we have a bunch of different options that we can show. So we can use those directional arrows on the steering wheel to get between track apps like you can see your G-Force meter if you wanna do some hot laps, or you can even use the built-in track apps to do things like record your zero to 60, record your 60 to zero braking distance, you can record um, any of your lap times or your quarter mile, anything like that. It has a ton of awesome built-in features to help the racing enthusiast be connected. Moving over from there into the center console, you will notice that because this is the premium, it does feature the eight inch touchscreen. Um, that's pretty nice. And then of course, down here along the bottom of it, we can switch between audio, climate, phone, navigation. If you want any of these to come up full screen, all you have to do is either tap right on them or tap on the button down here at the bottom that represents them. And when you wanna view everything on one page, all you have to do is use that home button. Then of course, below the screen, we have a couple extra buttons. We've got the seek and skip. We've got the eject button for your CD player. And then we also have the button that takes us straight into the audio control so we can adjust the bass and treble and things like that. 
Moving down from there, you will see that we have the climate controls. Um, if you saw my Mustang EcoBoost video, I did mention that that has the standard climate controls. This GT Premium has the uh, upgraded climate controls. So this vehicle does feature the dual zone climate. You can see we have these silver bands here that we can adjust up or down on the driver and passenger temperatures. As well, we do have the heated and cooled seats built in with the perforated leather. So that is an excellent option to have in the summer or winter. It keeps you cool or warm whenever you need it without having to blast the AC. And then down below the AC controls, we see we have this final row of buttons. We have our start stop button here to the left, and then we have our hazard light button. We have our traction control off button if you wanna do some sick burnouts in your Mustang GT. Uh, we have our steering wheel feel button here. Uh, if you saw my Mustang EcoBoost video, I explained that a little better for you. So check back on that if you wanna hear an explanation of the steering thing. And then finally on the end here, we have this mode flipper switch. Um, what this does is this actually is what switches the Mustang between drive modes that I mentioned with the gauge cluster. So we have things like sport mode, we have wet and snow mode, we've got track mode, uh, we have normal mode. So we've got lots of different options for you. And of course, as I mentioned, each time you flip that switch and put it in a different mode, that 12 inch LCD gauge cluster is gonna completely reconfigure and give you the most important information that you're looking for. If we keep moving down from there, you will see that we do have a single USB port and a 12 volt charging. And then we have our gear shifter here in the middle, of course, as you would expect. Moving past that, you'll see that we've got our double cup holders. And then here in the center console, uh, it's pretty small, but it does feature a couple USB ports and the memory card for the navigation system. So that's nice that they do give you some extra power ports and a little center console. Uh, as well, it does have a padded leather top, so that's always nice to rest your arm on. Because this is a performance vehicle, I do wanna talk about a couple of the performance aspects. Uh, earlier in the video, I mentioned that it has a zero to 60 time of 3.99 seconds, which is incredible. That actually makes it faster than a lot of cars that cost a lot more than this Mustang. So take this into consideration. The 2018 Mustang GT sells for about $36,000 it has a faster zero to 60 than the 2018 BMW M4 Coupe that will run you almost $69,000. So for $33,000 more dollars, you can have a car that's just as fast as this Mustang. And the oil changes on that car will cost you $150 as well. This Mustang is also faster than a Camaro SS on a zero to 60, which will also cost you about 38 grand. So there's 2,000 more dollars if you wanna spend those. And then finally, this Mustang is also faster than the 17 Alfa Romeo 4C Coupe, which will run you a whopping $57,000. So you have a choice. You can either spend 36,000 and go zero to 60 in four seconds, or you can spend 69,000 and go zero to 60 in four seconds. It's your call. This Mustang GT actually has the same zero to 60 second time as a 2017 Mercedes-Benz C63 AMG. Now that Mercedes-Benz is gonna cost you about 66 grand. So again, 30 grand more to do the same speed in a performance-based car seems like a no-brainer. Two more things before I let you guys go. First, I do want to point out that this Mustang does feature a limited slip rear axle. So what that's gonna do is it's gonna make sure that both of your rear tires turn in perfect synchronization. That way, if you're doing a burnout or if you're doing hot laps on the track and you need full power, but it's gotta be balanced, then that's gonna come into play perfectly for you. Otherwise, one of your tires can spin with more power than the other, and it can throw off the whole direction of the car, which is extremely dangerous if you're doing high speed laps. Finally, the last thing that I do wanna tell you guys about is probably something that most performance car people won't necessarily look at, but is important nonetheless, and that is the crash test ratings. This Mustang GT has a perfect five-star crash test rating in every category. That means the front end crashes, the side crashes, the rollover probability, everything gets a perfect five-star rating. That way you know that if you're on the track doing high-speed maneuvers in an emergency, this Mustang has what it takes to keep you safe. That is it for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and learned a little bit more about the performance features and the great value that is this 2019 Mustang GT Premium. If you do have any questions or you'd like to stop by and see this Mustang, you can visit us here at Jack Schmidt Ford. That's at 1820 Vandalia Street in Collinsville or visit us online at jackschmidtford.com. And don't forget to stop by on Thursday and watch Brenna test drive this Mustang GT as well.